Florida, man. <clears throat> Florida's cool, right? I like Florida. Who doesn't like Florida? Everybody likes Florida, right? And that could be a problem if you're trying to get into real estate in a cheap, cheap way, right? I got a guy, got a client we're working with him today. He's from Tampa. He's got 75 grand. Wants to get into rental estate. Uh, uh, rental real estate. Ugh. Can't speak. He wants to get into rental real estate. Real estate investing, right? He wants to do that. He's got 75K. What's he going to do? I'm going to help him out. Let's check it out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and as mentioned at the top, I'm working with a client who's got 75 Gs. His name is Troy, and he's from Tampa. And who don't like Tampa, man? Tampa's nice. Tampa's warm. Tampa's by, well, I don't know how close it is to the ocean. Like, I mean, obviously everything in Florida is kind of close to the ocean. I'm not 100% sure, like, on a map where exactly Tampa lies. Like, I know we got, like, Miami's, like, down here. Orlando's, like, right here. I feel like Tampa's, like, right there. But I'm by no means a Florida geography expert. But I am a real estate expert. And what I will tell you, is when everybody likes something, the price goes up. The prices in Florida continue to go up. And that's not necessarily a bad thing unless you're in Troy's situation. Troy wants to invest in rental real estate, but Troy can only spend as much as 75 k It's 2022, man. Troy really can't get anything in the Tampa area for 75 k Nothing that cash flows, nothing that makes sense. What's he do? Does he give up? No. No, he doesn't give up. He hooks up with me. I take people in Florida, put them in. Cheaper, more affordable markets, markets where you can still buy low-cost cash flow real estate. And, Troy, I got a deal for you today. You only need about $16,000 out of your pocket, and I'll handle the management while you soak up the sun down there, brother. Let's take a look now. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there, those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program, like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. Now, this property, this is going to seem like just crazy cheap to a lot of you, okay? Look at this thing. Nice little house, right? Nice little house. No issues there, right? Let's see what we got here. Another picture outside, right? Another picture outside. Going to the inside. Upside! Oh, just kidding! No interior pictures, folks. No interior pictures. Is that a horrible red flag? Should we all be freaking out? Thank you. I'm just, one second. I'm parched. No, it's not a red flag, okay? First thing I want to tell you guys as newest uh, new real estate investors, a lot of you guys are like, ah, there's no interior pictures. What do I do? What do I do? You might freak out. You might think it's a big deal. It's not. What we have here is a tenant-occupied single-family home. Now, it doesn't mean we just make uh, offers, committed offers, uh, uh, no contingency offers without information. No, I'm, we're going to get you the information. But you have to understand something. Tenants do not like to have random people showing up in their houses. Then we go through COVID. Post-COVID world, it's unheard of to be bothering tenants uh, and the inside of their homes these days. Okay, We're going to make our offer contingent on a home inspection. But I'm going to tell you this. We have long-term tenants in there. They're paying below market rent. They're paying $800 a month in rent. But the market rent for this is $975. $11,700 is what should come in for the year, right? Here's what you need to know. 321 West 32nd, Lorraine, Ohio. That's the address, right? It's been on the market for a pretty decent chunk of time. But this isn't one of those situations, in my opinion, where the seller will just take a lowball offer. I believe the seller's like, this is my price. I'm making good money. It's not 975 but it's 800 So the seller's just like, yo, my price, or like, I'm not selling it because I'm currently making money. And what you get in a situation like this, folks, is it's very, very common for the listing agent and the seller not to bother their tenants, not to get inside their units. Don't expect to be getting a property where it's like the Taj Mahal. They've been in there a long time. I can almost assure you the fixtures are older. 
and you're going to need to do a turnover when they move out, okay? So right now we have them in there paying 800 We want to slowly work these tenants, existing tenants, up to 975 over a year or two. We don't want to create a turnover because I guarantee you, without even getting pictures, it's not like they're going to move out and you just get to re-rent it at market rate. No, we're going to have to like repaint it. If there's carpet, we'll probably need to replace the carpet, do vinyl flooring, refinish the hardwoods, right? You're looking at like a $10,000 turnover, right? Probably kitch kitchen and bath fixtures probably need to be updated, right? So understand that. What we're going to do is we're going to make our offer contingent on inspection, and we're going to be looking for big ticket items, right? Structural issues, major problems, water damage. That's what we're looking for. Cosmetically... It's really irrelevant for our purposes. So that's what I need you guys to know about the lack of photos, right? A lot of new investors, like I said, start thinking, oh, it must be a red flag. That's just how business is done, folks, especially in a post-COVID world. And I'm here to tell you, set your expectations uh, right, knowing that you're doing a turn after these people move out. That's just the name of the game. Now, what you need to focus on is the numbers. Long term, 975 comes in, folks. After fixed and variable expense estimates, I project you guys making a clear profit of 504.50 a month on average. That's a little over 6,000 for the year. And that's with my team doing the management, right? So it doesn't matter where you live, right? You live anywhere, live where you want, invest where it makes sense. Markets like this, they make sense, right? Lorraine, Ohio, I'm sure most people watching the show have never heard of Lorraine, Ohio. It's in the Cleveland market. When you're Googling best cash flow markets in the country, I'm sure you're coming across Cleveland, right? Here's the cool thing. Lorraine, little known city, half hour or so west of Cleveland. Nationally, nobody really talks about Lorraine. It's off the radar, and the returns are better, Dealing with the cities easier, right? Cleveland just enacted new lead paint laws that are really throwing some confusion into the marketplace right now. So confusing, I had to do a half hour long video explaining that process. It's in the show notes below. Anybody considering investing in the Cleveland market, I highly recommend you check that out. And in my opinion, it makes the desire to invest in Lorraine even higher, even better. If that isn't enough, Lorraine, folks, just got commitment. They're going to be doing two naval bases over there, okay? That's going to add several thousand jobs, right? You take a little city off the radar city like this, inject thousands of jobs into it, we're looking good. So in my opinion, this is one of the hidden gems of the Cleveland market. The deal makes a lot of sense, and here's the best part, right? You only need to put down 16250 Bank kicks in the other 48000 Long term, this thing should project out, under my estimations, approximately 22% return on your money. That is why people are leaving more expensive markets. They're coming to cash flow markets, coming to places like Ohio, hooking up with my company, because my company will run this thing for you just like you're here on the ground. We handle the property management, the maintenance, the leasing, the property insurance. If you need a new roof, we do that. We get you squared away with inspections. We are your one-stop shop, your boots on the ground team, but it starts here with this investment analysis so you know what you're getting, right? Things like being able to walk you through the fact that there are no pictures. Things like being able to set you up with the expectations that, hey, I guarantee you, I haven't seen the pictures yet, but they ain't going to be anything beautiful. Don't expect no freaking gold toilets. Don't expect these tenants who've been here long term below market rent to move out. And then we just walk in like, hey, what's up? Sweep, 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 sweep. Let's get a new tenant here. No, we're going to need to do a turn. Paint, floors, walls, kitchens, bath, most likely. We will put in the offer, contingent on inspection, and then we'll have more information. But this, folks, this is the start of the due diligence process. But all in all, this thing is a slam dunk. Seller, my opinion, not going to take a penny less than 65. No reason not to give him 65. Let's get the deal done. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.